In today's video, we're gonna look at some LUTs that are gonna help you take your footage from this to this. Hey there, buddy, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Shooting in a log profile is a great way to maximize your camera's capabilities so you can be sure that you're getting the most out of your image. Not only will you enjoy things like an increased dynamic range, but you'll also gain greater creative control when you're editing your image in post. And Panasonic's V-Log profile is absolutely no different, giving you that signature flat image that will act as a blank slate for all the color correction and grading that you need to do. But if you've ever tried to work with V-Log or really any other log profile, you probably already know that it doesn't behave in the same way that other picture profiles do. And especially if you're new to shooting in V-Log, it can seem like a difficult and intimidating process to get your footage looking good. You can literally spend hours tweaking and adjusting your image only for it to end up just not looking right, which can be really frustrating for people who are just getting started. This is where LUTs come in. LUTs are great because they not only help you to establish a consistent look throughout your project, but they also help to greatly speed up the coloring process overall. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over what I believe are the three best LUTs to use when working with vlog footage. First up on our list is the vlog to V709 LUT, which can be downloaded for free from Panasonic's website. This is definitely the most bare bones conversion LUT on this list because essentially all it does is just bring your vlog footage into the Rec. 709 color space without really touching anything else. The colors are a little dull, contrast is kept low, and the skin tones are just a little bit washed out. Now, the reason I put this LUT on the list in the first place is because while it doesn't do a whole lot for the image to start out with, it does serve as a great starting point for a lot of adjustment later on. If you really want to sit down and tweak each aspect of your image, this LUT gives you the freedom to do so, by still giving you a converted Rec. 709 image, but at the same time, leaving everything else virtually untouched. It's because of this open-endedness that this LUT suddenly becomes a really powerful choice for creators looking to really fine-tune the look of their image. Next on the list is Panasonic's Nysys 709 LUT, which is also available for free as part of the Vericam LUT library. This is definitely one of the more popular options when it comes to converting your vlog footage over to a Rec. 709 color space, and it's really not surprising why. The overall image just looks really pleasant, with nice contrast, rich colors, and good handling of skin tones, it's absolutely clear to see why Panasonic would label this the nicest 709 LUT. Now, it's not without its own issues. I think that it tends to oversaturate some of the colors, especially the greens, and I found myself having to pull those back just a little bit to make them feel more natural. One other thing that I've noticed is that this LUT tends to make the image pretty noticeably darker, so if you don't properly compensate for that while shooting, you'll probably end up having to boost the exposure in post. Despite those two relatively small issues, this LUT still remains a very solid option for working with vlog footage. Honestly, so much so that half the time that I use it, I'm actually pretty happy with the base image it provides, even before any adjustments have been made. Now the third and final entry on this list is the Panasonic Vlog Conversion LUT from Gamut. This is by far my favorite LUT to use when converting over my Vlog footage, and I'll tell you why. While I think that the previous two LUTs we covered have their own individual strengths, with the Vlog to V709 LUT being more of a blank slate with very little added, and the nicest 709 LUT having richer colors, contrast, and good skin tones, the Gamut LUT feels very much like a blending of those two together. With this LUT, you have good colors that are saturated enough to not be dull, but at the same time, not overdoing it and becoming too bright. I also really enjoy the fact that it manages to add a good level of contrast while still keeping the base image properly exposed and leaving you plenty of room to mess around with the highlights and shadows as you need to. This LUT also handles skin tones wonderfully, and that, paired with the great handling of colors, makes the end result just really realistic. And that's really what I like most about this LUT it really does try to get the footage looking as natural and true to life as possible. And whenever I go to work with some footage using this LUT, I know that I'm gonna be in a really good starting place to work off of. Now, the only drawback with this LUT would be that, unlike the other two LUTs on this list, this one does cost money. This conversion LUT will run you $25 on Gamut's website, which may or may not be a big deal to you. I know that I was definitely hesitant to drop that money on it to begin with, but trust me when I say that this LUT really is worth the price. I use it on almost every project that I work on, and it hasn't let me down once. 
To me, it really does give you the perfect balance of having a really clean looking base image while also giving you the room to correct and adjust as you need to. So before we wrap up here, I just want to quickly give you a brief look at each of these LUTs in action. Because while it's important to look at each one individually, I think that a lot can be learned from directly comparing them all together. And at any rate, it'll let you quickly see the differences between each one. So there you have it, three amazing vlog conversion LUTs, each with their own individual strengths. Hopefully this video has not only given you a better understanding of some of the options that are available to you, but also how they look and affect your footage. Now there's not gonna be a one size fits all option that will meet all of your needs, so I would encourage you to do your own research. A lot of these LUTs are available for free, so try out several and see what appeals to you most. You might be surprised with what you learn, and at any rate, it should be a fun creative experiment either way. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, then the best way to show that would be by dropping a like down below. If you're new to the channel, then first off, welcome. Here we're all about filmmaking, tech, and lots of other fun nerdy stuff. So if that sounds like fun, then please consider subscribing with notifications on so you never miss out on a future upload. As always, if you have any thoughts, suggestions, or you just want to say hi, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I really do enjoy reading what you guys have to say, and I try to respond to as many comments as I can. So with all of that out of the way, you've been watching All Around Filmmaker, and I will see you in the next video.